Okay, when you are ready, put your hand uh, put your hands together. What? Give me a countdown for the timer and yeah. hang on a minute. It seems like the game and my uh, name are not on the layout yet. Oh wait, hang on a minute. There we go. Hey. <laughs> right. Okay. As soon as you are ready, give me a countdown for when you want the timer, start, start, timer to start. And uh, introduce yourself, introduce a run, and we'll get going. Yeah, so thank you very much for uh, letting me open this uh, marathon. I'm really happy that I'm, I have get the opportunity to do, do, to, to do with this beautiful game that I speedrun. Uh, this is Vivian Tina, New Adventures with Horses. Uh, time is gonna start once I confirm the first text box here. So, uh, I'm gonna start the run in three, two, one, go. Let's go, Sabrina. Yeah, so this is in English today because this is an English speaking marathon. Um, so, uh, originally, this is a German franchise. Very popular franchise actually in Germany. It has sold like millions of copies. And right away we're gonna do the first trick in this uh, speed run, which is the countdown skip. So during the countdown, you usually have no control over everything, uh, over anything. But if you tap out of the game and then tap back in again, the game opens the menu and lets you uh, do inputs again. Uh, which means we can just uh, move during the countdown, which saves th three seconds on every mission or every r race, uh, which is an overall time save of, I think, a minute or something like this. I don't remember the exact number, but yeah, it's a big time save. So here is the first race. We are uh, Bibi on uh, Sabrina. We are racing against Tina on Amadeus. And the story of this game, basically, there was a big uh, storm and now uh, we are gonna go check out a few hotspots in the area um, to Let's make go, sure Sabrina. everything is alright and if anything isn't alright, we are gonna fix it with magic because Bibi is actually a teenage witch, so there's gonna be some witchcraft in this, uh, in this run. And here we're going to take a picture for our pen pal, Naomi, what a beautiful picture. from Australia. And by pen pal, I mean we are messaging her on WhatsApp, basically. Uh, Let's but go, yeah. <laughs> so, of course, we're going to do the countdown skip again. There are go, three Sabrina. missions where we don't do the countdown skip, but I'm going to explain why uh, when we... Show.
Oh, I actually lost the minigame. Yeah, game. okay, I think... I think I fixed it. There you go. Okay, I'm so... I'm just an idiot. I'll get you it's okay, <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, so uh, the tech issues um, spooked me so much that I actually lost this mini game, which is actually very hard to do. Like, uh, if you poke one of the uh, feet of the horse uh, three times, you actually lose the mini game. Like, you have to remove the stones. I'm actually doing this with my mouse because it's much easier for me than with the controller. Like, the rest of the game I play with the controller. You can play this with the mouse, and in the 100% category, this has actually a few useful. Uh, uses because you can do much sharper turns with the mouse but in this category it's not really necessary to use the mouse yeah so we just cleaned the hooves of the horse so now we can um, carry on there are actually uh, three different mini games in this uh, run that are mandatory to do and of course we're gonna do the countdown skip again let's go Sabrina and now we're gonna head to the Let's Old go. Oak, which is a very important uh, place in this franchise. Which, by the way, started out in 1991 as a spin-off of Bibi Blocksberg, which is yeah, the franchise about Bibi Blocksberg, uh, obviously. Which started in the 1980s and is yeah, a bunch of audio drama stories about Bibi having fun adventures with her friends, her family, and her foes. And later they uh, also made like a cartoon, uh, TV show, uh, video games obviously, uh, live action movies. There is all sorts of stuff. Like this is a very, very popular franchise in Germany. Yeah, so here's the old oak. Very nice. We're gonna take another picture here for Naomi. Let's go, Sabrina. Let's go, Sabrina. It's so weird to hear the English voice acting because I usually I always play in uh, German since this is, this is a German picture. franchise and German is also my first language. So yeah, so here we're gonna try to angle ourselves in a way that we get to the next mission quickly, which worked out. And this is the first uh, so-called trail mission where we have a. Let's oh no. Go, Never mind, that's the next mission. Th but this mission is also kind of special because this is the only mission in the entire game that features those hedges. I'm not sure why they bother to make this model and then never use it again, like in any other mission. But yeah. This is a hedge and sleigh now. I hope you enjoy the music because this is the only song we're gonna hear while on races. There's, there's only two songs, one for races and one for not being on races. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, th this is, was not a high budget production. Like this is, uh, I wouldn't say it's an indie game, but like it, it's not a triple A game either. Like it's, it's somewhere in the middle of those two. Yeah. Let's go, Sabrina. Uh, it was released in 2022, by the way, for PC and consoles. And what you just saw there was a trophy, which is a collectible. Uh, you, you, there are 60 in total, which we all collect in 100%, but in this category we uh, must not touch any of them, because the first trophy you touch actually triggers a text box, and we want to avoid that. Yeah, so this is the trail mission. Uh, which has a purple trail on the floor and time is ticking down and if you leave the trail time is ticking down much faster up to 10 times faster than usual so we have to make sure not to shortcut too much because otherwise we will actually fail the mission but yeah this should be fine 50 seconds should be way way enough you can shortcut a little here as well um, if you have beaten this mission uh, and cleaned up this whole mess here, you can actually take a big shortcut, uh, like to, um, but it doesn't work in full game runs because there is a tree in the way that fell down. And you can only take the shortcut after you remove the tree with witchcraft. 
So this shortcut is only viable in IL runs. And here the horse jumps over the tree automatically for some reason. Let's go. What happened here? Yeah, so sadly the storm destroyed the uh, campsite, so we're gonna do a little magic to clean it all up. Eeny meeny, damage done. Clean it up so there is none. Whiz whiz. Whiz whiz. Yeah, in German she says hex hex. But yeah, in the English version Let's they changed it. Just like new. Just Let's like go, new. Sabrina. Very nice. Yeah, so now we're gonna take another picture, this time not for our friend Naomi, but for Miss Martin, who is Tina's mother. What a beautiful we just picture. Tell her, look, we fixed the campsite. So now she's very happy. And since uh, horse riding is Phoebe's second uh, name, we're gonna do another race around the campsite. And bad news for Tina, we're, we're gonna cheat again, of course, because this is a speedrun. Fairness is not our major concern. It is being fast, so let's go. Yeah, this game is uh, the second iteration in the Adventures with Horses uh, series. The first game was called Adventures with Horses. This is the, the new Adventures with Horses. Uh, in German, the names are completely different, by the way. The first game, the German translation, the translation of the first game would actually be the game to the movie, because it was released uh, alongside the first Bibi and Tina live action movie. And the German name for this game we are seeing here right now is actually just the horse adventure. But in English they just yeah, used the same title. And now we are actually gonna see uh, the minigame that has a lot of RNG. Because we have to feed the horse. And the way this minigame works is you're gonna get either an item the horse can eat and then, then you press A. Or get an item that is not food and then you just wait for the next item. And this can make or break a run, basically. So, You're hungry, aren't you? if you are unlucky, you, you can get it. half a minute of time loss here. But let's see how this goes. Yeah, this is a brush, obviously not edible. A stone, very yummy. Another brush. A carrot. That's nice. Horses like carrots. Yeah, so far the RNG isn't terrible, but let's see, it can still uh, be worth. Yeah, so in total we have to give the horse 10 food items. And depending on how many non-food items we get, it's either a time loss or a time save. So This was actually pretty decent RNG, to be honest. This was not terrible. Yeah, so now we are heading over to, to the, the mill farm, farm to, to see if anything, anything has uh, any damage there. there. And as always, Let's we're gonna go, use Sabrina. the countdown skip. And this is another trail mission where I'm not gonna shortcut too much because it, it is a relatively long mission. So I need a lot of time to finish it. Um, so if I shortcut too much, I'm just gonna lose the mission. So for marathon safety, I'm gonna be a little careful about shortcutting here. Yeah, I also want to say hi to everybody in chat and everybody who's here right now. Uh, thank you to everybody for showing up, showcasing this interesting game. <laughs> Just to uh, shout out, everyone can are in the chat, so please give a hand to everyone can. They are currently in the chat. Yeah, well, welcome. Yeah, I'm very happy to be able to support uh, this charity. As a disabled speedrunner uh, or dis disabled gamer, I'm very happy to be part of this event that supports this charity. 
Very cool stuff. Keep up the good work. And I'm running out of stamina because I'm talking too much. I think I've never explained this in any uh, marathon I did, but yeah, there is a stamina bar at the right side. I'm not sure if anybody noticed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and now we have a relatively special mission because uh, this next mission you can only start if you have uh, if with um, Tina and Alexander as characters. So we're gonna switch to Alexander now, which is the faster option because then it automatically switches to Tina as well. Uh, if you switch to Tina, the second character will automatically be Bibi. So it is, yeah, faster for the speedrun nice ride. switch to Alexander. And now we're gonna do a few missions with him. Later we're gonna switch back to Bibi. The fact that you can actually play as Alexander is pretty huge for this franchise. This has only happened once before in, a, in the mobile version of the first game of this, uh, of this uh, series, so, so to speak. That was the only game where you could actually play as uh, somebody else other than Bibi and Tina. All the other Bibi and Tina games, you can only play as Bibi and Tina. So yeah, this is kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah, a little fun fact about the whole video game franchise of this. Uh, there, in total there are between 40 and 50 video games, depending on if you count mobile games or not, or if you count uh, 3DS versions separately from the Wii version, for example, of games. But yeah, in total, the whole franchise, BB Blocks, like, and BB and Tina in total, there are currently almost 50 different video games. And we have 35 of them on speedrun.com, which is quite the number for a video game franchise. Yeah, feel free to check out the series page, and if you think this looks fun, uh, feel free to also join our speedrunning Discord, which is linked on every page on speedrun.com. Yeah, this is basically a race to go to Tina's and Alexander's um, hiding spot, yeah. their secret spot where they hang out when they want to be alone. So the plan is to do a little picnic there, but spoiler alert, it's not gonna go according to plan. And we're gonna see why in a second after taking this photograph. That's a good picture of us. Enjoy the cutscene, because there is a cutscene in this game. Yeah, so there's a cute squirrel, there's the picnic basket, which is five times bigger than the squirrel, but it apparently can still carry it and run away with it. So now we have to chase this, squir this squirrel to get, the, to get back to the picnic basket. And this is a mission where we are not doing the countdown skip, uh, because this squirrel is running on a set path. And uh, we have to be close to it, so it always keeps up the highest speed. If we are too far ahead or too far behind, it will s slow down. So the countdown skip would actually not be useful. And the other thing is that um, the squirrel has to cross the finish line first, and the race only ends after we crossed it. Um, so yeah, first the squirrel has to cross the finish line and then we have to cross it to finish the race. If we cross it first and then the squirrel crosses it, the race doesn't end. So this is why we have to stay behind the squirrel. And all of the apples are falling out of the basket. So there's gonna be no food left for us at the end. Very sad times. Yeah, 
Yeah, so uh, for... I, I would assume that many people uh, don't know this franchise, so maybe a little bit of background lore. Um, we are now playing as Alexander von Falkenstein, who is uh, the son of a royal... His, his father is basically a royal... Um, guy uh, who owns all of this land here um, and Tina Tina Martin is living on uh, the Martins farm with her mother and her brother her dad uh, died in a tragic accident and uh, yeah they have to pay rent to Alexander's father and Vivi is Tina's best friend. Always visiting from Neustadt when she's on vacation. So now that we have finished the race, we're gonna take another picture. And I would really like to know who's holding the camera here. But yeah, I guess that's a plot hole that will never be filled. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, so now we're gonna go clean the horse, but only on one side. Because apparently horses don't get dirty on both sides in this in this uh, universe. And this minigame I'm always dreading because apparently my PC can't handle it properly. On the Switch version it works totally fine, but on my PC it's always lagging, which causes the brush to fling around and then touch the horse in spots where it's not supposed to be touched and then the You'll horse be clean again in no time. The horse gets angry and you lose time and okay. I had this issue yesterday in practice as well. Apparently my controller is uh, is preventing me from using the keyboard, which is really annoying. Yeah, I'm not sure why this happens, so I have to do it with controller now, which is fine. Yeah, I, pr I prefer to use the arrow keys for this. Yeah, this is what I mean. The brush just flings around, the horse gets angry. If this happens one more time, I'm gonna lose the minigame. So this is kind of risky right now. Yeah, I've lost the minigame. Okay, very nice. I'm gonna try again. Because this is mandatory. You have to beat this to to continue. You'll be clean again in no time. I still can't use the keyboard. I'm not sure why. It has something to do with my controller, I think. <laughs> Yeah, but this time it's going smoothly, so the horse is getting cleaned. Very nice. Just when I said it's going smoothly, it went non-smoothly. <laughs> yeah, marathon luck for a marathon run. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, so now we are actually gonna go to the old mill because it has been damaged and we have to fix it. So this is the last race we're gonna do as Alexander. Because after this we have to switch back to BB to do some magic again. Some witchcraft. It'll be a nice ride. It'll be a nice ride. His English voice is so strange to me because I'm so used to only hearing the German voices. So this is kind of funny to me right now. Yeah, so... By the way, if there are any donations or anything else to read, feel free to just uh, in interrupt. There's always time for that. Uh, we've got no donations at the moment. But a uh, good time to remind everybody about donations, of course. Uh, don't forget we're doing this as a charge for everyone can. 
Uh, if you'd like to donate, then please do so by going to interfeedfilm.wes forward slash donate. I have posted the link in the chat. I'll post the link in the chat again in just a moment. Look at this mess. Um, and the donations, of course, go to everyone can as well. And any donations that come in, I will read them up periodically during the stream. Meeny, meeny, damage done. Clean it up so there is none. Whiz, whiz. Whiz, whiz. So we are fixing the old mill. Very nice. Good job. And now we're gonna take Just like new. another Let's go, Sabrina. picture. That picture looks amazing. Yeah, so, uh, if maybe you remember the first race we did was on the paddock of the, of the Martins farm, and now we're gonna do a second paddock, this one, the, the mill paddock. In total, there are 12 paddocks in this game. Uh, in the story mode, like the main story, we're only gonna be those two. Let's go. But in a 100% run, we would have to beat the remaining 10 paddocks Master. as well. <laughs> it's so strange for me to hear the English voice acting, but it's also kind of funny. <laughs> I'm really glad I picked this for this event. Because um, I showcased this on Monday at a German-speaking event, the 100% category. Um, yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, for the 100% category, we actually use a, a trick. It, it's not a trick, but we, we use the game mechanic a lot, which we're only gonna see one time in, in this run here, which is uh, the teleporting. So, if you have beaten a race uh, once, uh, there is a menu with your best times you can look. Uh, look up and you can select the race and then it teleports you to that race and instantly starts it and we're gonna use that to teleport around the map in this category yeah we only do it once but at 100% we have to do it quite a few times yeah for reference like this run takes roughly like 50 minutes uh, and the 100% run is now at one and a half hours uh, like 136 or something My first run was actually almost two hours long, but uh, back then I had, had no idea about the teleporting Mechanics, Let's so go, once I found that out uh, I brought the time down by quite a bit And it also saved two minutes in this category <laughs> Because later we're gonna end a race at a very, like, at the edge of the map and then we have to go back to the farm and without the teleport that takes two minutes, so, yeah. Okay, after being the paddock, we got a text message from Tina's brother Roger uh, who said he's in a bit of a pickle and since we love pickles, we're gonna go and help him by eating the pickle. <laughs> Yeah, in the English version they actually changed his name. The, uh, his original German name is Holger, a very German name. But uh, yeah, I guess for English speaking audiences it's not a, such a common name, so... In this, uh, in this in translation he is called Roger. Yeah, so here the storm has caused the Let's road go, to be man. blocked, so... Phoebe has to do some magic to clean up the situation. Eeny meeny, damage done. Clean it up so there is none. Whiz whiz. Whiz whiz. There. And Just here we're gonna like take you. another picture. What a beautiful picture. And now Holger. Let's go, Sabrina. Uh, sorry, Roger. <laughs> or whoever you want to call him, uh, challenged us to a race to the castle where uh, Tina's boyfriend Alexander lives and the father. Yeah, also a little fun fact, Tina's uh, mother and uh, Alexander's father actually used to be a couple when they were teenagers, just like the kids are nowadays. But the relationship sadly didn't last because um, Alexander's granddad wasn't very happy that 
his son was m meddling around with a farmer girl. So they actually b had to break up because of that. Yeah, it's, it's quite interesting because uh, in this franchise, um, the whole class dynamic between the the rich royal person owning all the land and the farmer who has to rent the farm and all that stuff. It is actually a, quite often a topic in this, um, which is kind of interesting to me. And I'm running out of stamina again because I'm talking too much and I'm not paying attention to the stamina, but that's okay. Yeah, so there are... Um, as, as you might guess, uh, since this is called the main missions category, um, you might have guessed that there are also side missions. Uh, there are a few of them. Um, for example, one uh, requires you to collect 10 flowers that are scattered around the world, which is kind of the second type of collectible, uh, apart from the trophies that we've already seen. But we're not going to do that because this is the main missions. Plus one side mission, as I explained earlier, because for some reason I didn't realize that the last mission I'm always doing in this run is not a main mission. But yeah, I've already discussed this with the person who brought this to my attention, who also wants to run the game. And we're probably gonna settle on just renaming the category to Apple Pie, because in the last mission you're actually uh, delivering an apple pie to the castle, so... <laughs> This is actually not a true main missions category. I mean, it is because we are doing all the main missions. But we're gonna end the run on the one of the side missions. Yeah, whatever. So, <laughs> back to the story. Uh, the storm caused uh, a horse to be so scared that she ran away from the castle. It's uh, the horse called Cleopatra, who is the horse of... Uh, Alexander's father and now this horse who is called Miraculous uh, is gonna lead us to the missing horse because apparently he just knows where she is not sure how but I don't know yeah so this is basically similar to uh, the uh, mission we saw earlier with the squirrel uh, we just have to keep uh, yeah, stay close to the horse Funnily enough, if you look on the minimap, you can see that uh, there is still like a paw uh, representing the horse, which is weird because, as far as I'm concerned, uh, horses have hooves and not paws. But yeah, this is kind of a funny detail. Yeah, so over there in this field, uh, we're gonna find Cleopatra, and again, we have to let the horse cross the finish line first, and then we have to cross the finish line to finish the race. And I'm gonna angle myself to the left here because uh, the next mission is gonna be on the left side. Yeah, so this is Cleopatra. And now we're gonna bring her back to the castle. Yeah, here you can see the marker also has the, the paw as the icon. Because horses apparently have paws in this universe. Oh, I just, yeah, I did the countdown skip, but yeah. Just, it was just intuition. Uh, oh, mission is starting, Let, let's do it, but yeah, we're not gonna do it here, because as I explained earlier, we have to stay close to the horse. Yeah, so this is kind of an auto-scroller, but not really, because like if, if you uh, are too far away from the horse, it will slow down. And even completely c come to a stop if you are too far away. If you go much too far away, uh, you actually fail the, the mission. And we actually use this in the 100% category to um, teleport to the castle. Uh, so we basically just teleport to the first uh, horse mission and then just run away from the horse to lose the race. Because for some reason, you cannot end a race. Like once you've started a race, you can't end it, you can't skip it. You have to either lose it, win it, or go to the main menu. So that's why we have to uh, use 
for the teleport, we have to use missions where you can easily uh, fail. So, uh, yeah. Those missions where you can just run, run away from the horse, or missions where the timer is uh, ticking down and you only have like 10 seconds at the beginning of the race. Yeah, so here I'm actually gonna cross the finish line first and I'm gonna use the mouse for that because you can do much sharper turns and the reason for that is... Okay, never mind. Why is my mouse not working? What? Okay, something is... Uh, I think my game doesn't like this controller. Because I didn't have this, those issues before. What I wanted to do was cross the finish line first, turn around, and then cross the finish line to end the race after the horse. Because otherwise I would run into the wall, which is not very good. Yeah, so, I don't know. For the mouse controls, uh, you uh, use right click to jump and left click to accelerate and for some reason the acceleration just doesn't work right now on my mouse i'm not sure why it must have something to do with this controller because um, until recently i've used a different controller so yeah apparently this game doesn't like this controller no wait a minute on monday i used the same controller and i and the mouse controls did work that is weird yeah, so here we have another trail mission, which is basically a big circle around the castle. And uh, the funny thing is the finish line is right next to where we start the race. So uh, you might think, wait a minute, can't you just run through the finish line? And uh, the short answer is no. The more complicated answer is... Yes, you kind of can, but it, it, it's not useful, because uh, once the uh, countdown has ended and the race is actually starting, the finish line disappears, so we can't run through it. But now you might ask yourself, wait a minute, but we can move during the countdown, so can't we just run through the finish line during the countdown? And here I'm going to do a shortcut. Which is going to be very tight with the timing, but it's going to work out fine. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, so the thing is, you can actually run through the finish line if you do the countdown skip. And then it even plays the, 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 this little jingle. What a beautiful picture. Uh, when you finish a race, there's a jingle playing like, yay, or something like this. Uh, but if you do that, the finish line just basically despawns and you cannot finish the race anymore like even if you go all the way around Let's go, you can uh, you are unable to finish the race because you despawn the finish line during the countdown uh, however tina can still beat you in the race like if she runs uh, through the despawn finish line she still wins so this is, that's the only advantage Tina has in this entire game, basically. Yeah, so... Um, now we're just gonna do a little race here. Yeah, here on the right side you can see one of the other paddocks, which we are not gonna beat in this category, only in 100%. And here on the left side you can see the, the duck pond, uh, which actually has a side mission where you have to take a picture of the ducks. Yeah, um, most of the side missions or many of the side missions are actually related to animals. We have one where we have to take a picture of the ducks. Then we have one where Let's we have, go, need to uh, photograph the beaver dam. And we're also rescuing a cat in one of the side missions. Sadly, it's not gonna happen in this category. I'm sorry. If you expected cats, uh, my apologies. We can actually, at the end of the run, we can actually uh, look at the cat uh, that's sitting on the bench at, at the farm for all the cat lovers out there. 
which uh, I myself consider a part of that group, the cat lover group. Let's go. Sabrina. Okay, now we're gonna do the. Um, I'll show you what it oh, takes. somebody in chat said Tina sounds OP, which is funny to mention this in this mission particularly because it once happened to me uh, in a in a run. Um, then I got soft locked in this race because here if you jump at a very specific time uh, in front of one of those obstacles you actually can get soft locked in an eternal bucking animation like the horse bucks and it never gets out of that uh, animation because it gets stuck uh, on the obstacle so I was like oh no I'm soft locked the, the run is over and then Tina came from behind and pushed Sabrina with Bibi on top over the obstacle and I got out of the animation and I could actually finish the run. That was so epic. Just absolutely epic. Also, um, some of the obstacles are so uh, um, small that you can actually run over them. But if you do that, the checkpoint doesn't count, because those checkpoints that are not rings, they only uh, count if you are in the air. So if you jump too early and you land on the obstacle, uh, the countdown, the checkpoint also doesn't count. So we always have to make sure to jump at the right time in this uh, mission. Yeah, so we are now heading to the ruins. On the mountain, it's an old castle, and we're gonna do a race through the ruins. Which, now that I'm saying it like this, that that sounds pretty dangerous, honestly. But yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a sip from my BB and Tina water bottle. Oh yeah, by the way, you can totally play this game one-handed. Because you can, uh, if you move with the left stick, uh, you move the horse directly. And if you move the right stick, you move the camera, which also moves the horse. So yeah. You can absolutely play this game one-handed. And for some reason, on my PC, the game always lags on the next checkpoint. So, three, two, one, and lag. <laughs> Not sure why, but it always happens. Yeah, so sadly, the ruins also... Oh, I didn't get the checkpoint. That is unfortunate. Yeah, so sadly, the ruins were also damaged by the storm. Which is, a, it's a, which is a weird thing to say that the ruins got damaged because this is entirely a damaged castle, so... Yeah, but yeah. Let's go, Sabrina. the entrance is blocked, so we're gonna remove that to be able to enter again. Whiz whiz! Yeah, so... Very nice. Damage undone, so we take another picture. For Naomi. That picture looks amazing. Okay, now that we have sent the photo, we can actually go do the next race. Yeah, uh, sometimes the hitboxes are very weird, like there are invisible walls like everywhere basically. Sometimes you just run into them, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so the race through the ruins. Let's go, Sabrina. Hashtag totally not dangerous. Let's go, Amadeus. Faster! <laughs> the voice acting is so funny to me. I know I've said this several times already, but I'm sorry, it's still so funny to me. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, there's only German and English voice uh, acting or voice lines, uh, but the game 
has several other languages you can pick uh, for the text boxes, uh, which is English, German, French, Spanish, Italian, and Dutch. Oh, by the way, if if you ever get the chance, go go on YouTube, li listen to the Dutch intro of of this uh, of the Bibi and Tina TV show. It's amazing. Okay, so after the ruins, we're actually gonna do the only teleport in this run. Where we teleport to the back to the Martins farm. And then we are already approaching the end of the run. Yeah, there's a Bibi and Tina um, cartoon show and also a live action TV show. So here we're gonna go into the records menu and just select the Martins farm. Which automatically starts the, the race of, uh, as well. Yeah, it always takes a while to load. And since we cannot quit out of a race, we are just gonna use the time we have to wait to go to the next mission, which is cleaning the horse again. You were too slow. Oh no, look, look how sad Bibi is. Poor Bibi. Look at poor Bibi. Okay, so. I won! Can I use the arrow keys now? Of course not. I really don't know what this, uh, why this issue occurs, but it's okay. Yeah, so now we only have two missions left, or rather one mission, or rather four missions. It's all complicated, I'm, I'm gonna explain it. So as I said before, I, it was brought to my attention Let's go, that the last mission I'm doing in this, that I have been doing in this run for like the entire time I've been running this. I think I have 15 PBs in this category. And the actual last side Let's mission, go, like the, the, this is the actual last race How that we do as a take? main mission. But then afterwards, we still have to decorate the horse and take a picture, which is also considered a, a main mission in the missions menu. But yeah, since we have always delivered the apple pie, which is a side mission. We are still gonna do it. That's a nice tradition, I would say. Delivering the apple pie. So yeah, this is actually... So the, the actual category would be main missions plus apple pie. <laughs> Which is confusing because in the English translation, Bibi's broom that she flies on is actually called apple pie. In the German original, the uh, name of the broom is mashed potatoes because that's Bibi's favorite food. But for some reason they changed that to apple pie in the English version. Yeah, so this is currently a race against Tina's mother, Suzanne. Yeah, and here again, some of the obstacles are so small you can accidentally walk over them, which not, which doesn't kill the, the checkpoint. Yeah, so now the only thing that's left is decorating the horse, which is actually mandatory. You have to do it to finish the game, which is kind of funny. 
And then taking a picture and then we're gonna deliver the Let's apple pie. Go, so yeah, I always pick uh, the same hat. The witch hat. Because, of course, like, why wouldn't I pick the witch hat? Okay, so technically, this would be the end now of main missions, but since we keep the traditions go, of this speedrun, we're still gonna do the side mission. Yeah, I, I don't know why, like, when I started running this game and routing it, I just thought this was a main mission. I'll show you what it takes. So, yeah, the actual name of the category should be Apple Pie then, but... <laughs> We haven't changed it yet officially, so yeah. And this was only discovered like recently, like a few days ago, so we are still figuring uh, everything out. But yeah, time is gonna end on the, when I cross the finish line of this race. This is the last race. Which is gonna end at the castle. Because we are delivering the apple pie to Count Falco of Falkenstein. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy that I got the chance to uh, to actually open this marathon. I'm very honored. Thank you very much. And I want to give a big shout out to everybody uh, organizing this. Uh, Participating, all the runners, everybody who's doing commentary, who's hosting, everybody behind the scenes. Thank you so much for your work. And also a big shout out to the charity we are supporting today. Everyone can. Keep up the good work. And yeah, time is coming up because this is the last checkpoint before the finish line. And the run is gonna end in three, two, one, time! Yeah, this was Bibi and Tina, new adventures with horses, main missions plus one. <laughs> And I hope you enjoy the horse with the witch head, because isn't this adorable? <gasps> I forgot to show the cat! I, I, I want to... Okay, let me actually teleport back to the farm. Because to, to, I, I promised to show the cat. For all the cat lovers out there, let me show the cat. Because it's really cute. I'm a cat person, so I have to see this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, we, we have quite a few animals here on this farm, actually. <laughs> But the cat is, of course, the cutest. Let's go, Sabrina. Let's go, Sabrina. Yeah, so here's the cat on the bench. Woohoo! I won! And with this, lovely people of the internet and everybody at the venue, uh, thank you very much for inviting me, uh, letting me show this run. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about BB and Tina, BB in general, just shoot me, shoot me a message. Uh, if you're interested about the speedruns. And yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, we have had two donations. Now, one of them is mine. Now, unfortunately, I don't know why this is the case, but it's not showing up on the Omnibar. It still says zero on the Omnibar. The actual donations total is, I think, about £17 at the moment, or £18. So I'm going to try and fix that during the next run. Uh, but for the time being, uh, we have had two donations. So again, one was my test donation, because I had, we had a, an issue with PayPal, which is now fixed. So make sure that the website version is 1.3.3, and you can donate with PayPal again. Uh, the other donation came from Garlips, and he's the one who found the error, so please thank Garlips for finding the PayPal error, because otherwise I would never have known about it. 
So anyway, so Garen says, even horses got to go fast. Good luck on their own, Laika, and all the runners contained within the wonderful event, myself included. Thank you, Instagram, and here's to raising money for a good cause. Uh, he also puts a donation towards the Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes incentive. I think that's the Tuxedo incentive, if memory serves. And we've also got the Disco option in the Resident Evil 3 poll as well. I will find out the actual names for them, and I will apply everything correctly uh, during the next run. So, again, I have a lot of admin stuff I have to sort out for the, in the next run. Hopefully I have enough time to do it. In any case, we're going to go over to our next one in just a moment, and that is going to be... Japanese characters, hooray! I don't understand Japanese, unfortunately, so I can't say what this says, but there is blockaded numbers, yusha u gao gai ga. If I was pronounced that wrong, I do apologize. That's going to be about DVK. We've actually got two runs by DVK happening back to back. Those are going to be, the second row will be Fatal Fury, Wild Ambition as well by DVK. Uh, we're going to go to those two runs in just a moment. Uh, but don't forget, of course, we're doing this as a charity event for everyone can. And if you'd like to donate, then please do so by going to instaspeedathon.instasim.wales forward slash donate. And that will take you to the donation page as well. And everyone can are in the chat, so please say a huge hello to everybody at Everyone Can. Uh, they are absolutely fantastic, and we are absolutely blessed to be uh, raising more money for them. And I've already raised quite a bit for them already as well. So, uh, like, do you have any final things you'd like to say before we finish, and then we'll we'll go on to our next run. Uh, the only thing left to say is good luck and hex hex to all the runners coming up. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again soon.